converting from Kelvin to Celsius. So in this problem it says during preheating the oven temperature increased from 322 Kelvins to 500 Kelvins. Over this span by how many degrees Celsius did the temperature increase? So there are two ways to solve this problem. We first can use the conversion, the conversion equation to help us do that and then subtract the degree Celsius that we're going to get to get the temperature and let's do that way first and then we could also realize that the intervals are the same so I'll explain that in a second so the first way we're going to use the conversion equation so to get when you don't know what the degrees Celsius are you to get it from Kelvin for Kelvin you subtract 273.15 to get Celsius degrees so when you are trying to get what the degrees Celsius is and they give you Kelvins, all you have to do is subtract 273.15 to get the answer to that question. So what we can do is do 323 minus 273.15 and we get 49.85 degrees Celsius. And then we're going to do 500 minus 273.15 and we get 226.85 and to find out the difference and how much it raised all we have to do is 226.85 minus 49.85 and we get the answer so we're going to subtract these two numbers and we get that the answer is 177 degrees Celsius so that is the difference or the span by how many degrees Celsius the temperature increased so 177 degrees is going to be the answer to this question but the other way we can do so this is the conversion equation this important equation right here but we can also realize the interval so one degree Celsius interval actually equals the same thing as one Kelvin so as you go up the Kelvin scale you are also going up the Celsius scale so if you have a scale that's Celsius and you have a scale that's Kelvin if you move from here to here in Kelvin, you're also moving from here to here in Celsius. And so even though the numbers might be different, they have the same interval. So what all we had to do for this problem, we could have just done 500 Kelvins minus 323 Kelvins. And when you do that, you're going to see that the answer is 177 Kelvins, which also relates to 1 degree Celsius, the change refers to the same thing. So you can't just go, you, can't, we, we, you would have to convert so you can find exactly what those numbers are for degrees Celsius and then subtract. But here we use, we use our understanding of the intervals to get us to know that it's 177 Kelvins it's raised. That also means that the Celsius degrees are also raising by 177 degrees. So for this problem the answer would be 177 degrees Celsius.